So, let's look at an example when we're going to find the first term common ratio in a geometric sequence when I'm given two random terms in that sequence. Alright? Like, like these two. So if I have this example here, second term is 1.2, fifth term is 2.0736, I want to find um, first term, common ratio, and T8. Well, let's first stop. Let's just look at the general formula for a geometric sequence. That guy right there. And I say, all right, well, why don't I just plug this one into the formula first? All right, Tn means the value of the fifth term. So uh, Tn is going to be um, 2.0736 equals A. I don't know my first term yet times R. I don't know the common ratio yet, but I know uh, N minus 1, 5 minus 1 is going to be 4. Okay, so that's for this guy right there. Bang. Now let's do it for this one. All right, the value of the second term, that guy, 1.2. 1.2 equals first term, which I don't know yet, times the common ratio, which I don't know yet, and n is 2. 2 minus 1 is just 1. Okay? So, all right. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat this like simultaneous equations, but instead of subtracting the equations, like like I do with arithmetic sequences. So arithmetic sequences, they, we, we subtract the two equations. Here, I'm going to divide the two equations because it's a common ratio, not a common difference. What I'm going to do is say, okay, that's equation one, that's equation two. Uh, equation one divided by equation two will help me to find the common ratio. So I go, okay, uh, 2.0736 divided by 1.2. Um, what does that give me? I try that on the calculator. D divide this by 1.2 and I should get, um, I think it's 1.728. Okay. Now, A divided by A. Well, that cancels out. That's great because that gives me 1. Now, here, R4 divided by R1, R4 divided by R1, we need to remember... Uh, dividing powers, what do I do with the exponents? Subtract them, not divide them. This is R cubed. Cubed. All right, moving on. So I can solve for the common ratio here quite easily because if, if R cubed is 1.78 and I want to find out what it is, I do the opposite of the third power, which is the cube root of 1.78. 7, 2, 8. Okay? So if this was to the fourth power, you do the fourth root. If it was to the fifth power, you do the fifth root. Whatever. And I think the cube root uh, gives me 1.2. Okay. Well, that's, that's headway. So, okay, I've done, I've done all right. Now let's use that. And I'm going to substitute that into one of the equations to find A. Substitute to find A. Find my first term. Well, why don't I plug it back into this equation here and say 1.2 equals A times my common ratio, 1.2. Well, that's a pretty easy equation to solve because A is just going to equal 1. And I did that by substituting it into one of the formulas. Well, if I want to, I could write the general formula for this equation. This, or this sequence, I mean. Uh, this sequence is uh, equal to the first term, 1, times the common ratio, n minus 1. All right. Even though the question didn't ask for that, there's the general formula. I think I have enough to find uh, the eighth term. Because the eighth term is going to be 1, my first term, times my common ratio, 1.2. Uh, to the power of n minus 1, 7. So my eighth term will give me, I'll have to do some rounding here. What does that give me? Calculator time. Eight.
eighth term is going to give me 3.58. Common ratio, 1.2. First term is going to be A. And how does that look? So I say geometric sequence has a sixth term of 32, a tenth term of 512. Find the ratio, first term, and the fifteenth term. Well, we're going to be using my general formula regardless of whatever. So I'm going to substitute these guys in here. Remember, n equals 10 for this guy and n equals 6 for this guy. Let's do the, the bigger one first. I'll do the bigger one on top. So I'll say um, 512 equals a times my common ratio and n minus 1 for that is 9. That's this one. Now this one. 32 equals a times r to the power of 5. Okay. Divide the two equations and I get 512 divided by 30, 16. A's cancel out, giving me 1. And the common ratio, 9 minus 5 is 4. You don't divide those exponents, you subtract them. So now, common ratio is the fourth root of 16, which is, I think it is, 2. Great, got the common ratio. I'm going to take that common ratio and substitute it back into there to solve for A. So solve for A. This one looks a little bit different. Because I got 32 equals the first term times 2 to the fifth. I just have to simplify 2 to the fifth. 32 equals A times, hey, wait a minute. 2 to the fifth is 32. My common ratio my first term is 1, once again. All right, well, I've got these. I can substitute them in there to find the 15th term, and I'm in business. So, the 15th term is the first term, 1, times common ratio, 2, and minus 1, 14. Thousand three hundred eighty-four. How does that look? All right. We can do these. We can do them.